in General Tinyefusa's report, a copy of which NTV has obtained, he says the basic reason for disagreement between Mengo, the central government, and CBS is that Mengo wants political power. He writes that all other issues apart from the search for power by Mengo are diversionary. He proposes that CBS can only be reopened under some of the following conditions. The link the Kabaka struck the Kabaka ship from CBS as a shareholder. The current management must be replaced, especially those implicated in transgressions. The radio must stop calling itself Radio Buganda or Radio Yasaba Sajja and must stick to its legal name, CBS. The current CBS license must first be terminated and that they should reapply under new obligations. And that there should be an acknowledgement letter from CBS proprietors to government admitting errors and committing themselves to change. In his report, General Tinyefusa says what CBS was doing could confuse security services in the performance of their duties, undermine their morale and galvanize political subversion. There's also a valid warning to all political actors that General Tinyefusa says thrive on intimidation and criminal actions. Meanwhile, in a memorandum of understanding between Broadcasting Council representing government and CBS, it emerged that programs like Kiriza of Ghana, Mambo Bado, Crossfire and Tuejukanye that are aired on CBS occasionally breached the minimum broadcasting standards. On the agreed way forward, the following have to be put in place. CBS will make a written apology indicating it has not been complying with the Electronic Media Act and detailed steps which it has put in place to ensure compliance. CBS delinks itself from the institution of His Highness the Kabaka and CBS should relocate from Bulange to another place. At the time of filing this report, cabinet was still debating these reports at State House and Tebe to come out with a final position on the fate of CBS. Patrick Kamara, NTV Tonight.